people of the internet and welcome to this next video in the star wars card trading app a video is here for sunday uh well it's probably going to be on a monday uh we had my daughter's first birthday on sunday so uh things got a little rearranged so i didn't have time to do what i usually do uh but i'll get this out nonetheless so really we'll start right off with the uh, the giveaway from last week uh, I'm probably gonna go after some cards. I don't think there's anything out at the moment I've been actually going after like the mystery cards, which I'll get into here in a little bit if you guys didn't know what those were uh, I'm somewhat new to it myself, but I'm gonna go ahead and announce the winners from last week's giveaway here We had nine cards to give away Again a big uh, a big shout out and thank you to uh, flick Two for sending out uh, all of these cards over uh, This was really kind of like an orange week. I guess you could say orange Kind of an appropriate color but anyway so the uh the winners for last week's giveaway here uh, the first card up we had was a part of the movie moments here right the movie montage uh pretty rare 375 was the card count this was the kylo kylo ren card here so the winner for this card was carl hillard hilliard there's an eye there hilliard yes congratulations to you uh, next up, actually the next th uh, four, were all these orange burst cards here. Now the first one's Boss Nass, only 64 on the card count. Pretty sweet there. Uh, so the winner for this card is... 4-3-ster, or Forester. I always say it, 4-3-ster. Congratulations to you. Uh, and the next one up, again, part of the orange burst set. This is 304 card count on this one. Uh, this is FN 2187. So the winner for this card is... Pyro Titan, congratulations to you. And the next one up again, part of the orange bur burst here. You got Ki Adi or Ki Adai. I say Ki Adi. Um, I never noticed that there was another hyphen. I thought it was Ki hyphen Adi and then space Monday. I never noticed that. Has it always been like that? I don't know. Let me know. Anyway, so this one here, even more rare, only 111 of these. Pretty sweet. So the winner for this card is John Gibson. Congratulations. Uh, the next one up again, the last one of the orange burst cards here. The Inquisitor. Uh, 151. This was actually the award card, I guess. Uh, sometimes they came up as awards and sometimes they didn't. When they did these burst cards or the orange burst, even the blue and red, sometimes they came up in the search as award when I don't really think they were award. It was back when I think they were trying to figure out what they wanted to really do with the app and it kind of got messed around, but they've kind of filtered some of that out. But anyways, this one was the Inquisitor. So the winner for this one is... Jeff Villa, congratulations. So we're gonna stay with the theme of orange. Uh, we move on to the Rebels card. This is the Mining Guard Henchman, uh, Mining Guild Henchman, can't read it. Uh, this one here, don't know the set. I think this is just the Rebels set overall, which I've got to catch up on. I don't know if how many of you guys out there watched the Rebels show. Uh, it was pretty good. I watched the first season and a half so I got to kind of go back and, and kind of catch up because they're starting to get into some stuff that almost ties into uh, Rogue One a little bit. So I'm kind of staying away from all of that so I can be surprised and not uh, spoiled by anything. But this one here is 250 on the card count. So for the henchman here, the winner, Peter Borgmeier. Congratulations to you. And then we move on to two of the Black Border cards, or I guess these are the Shadow Box cards or whatever. This one here is Darth Maul. It has a card count of 430. Holding the saber there, pretty sweet. So the winner for this card is... Samuel Zarapa. Congratulations. Uh, next one up is still part of that. There we go. That shadow box for the black border set or what have you. This one here, 400 on the card count. See, so yeah, I think last week we said there was nothing over, uh, nothing over 500 on the card count, nothing over 750 or something like that. So it was a pretty rare week. So Flick Two, thank you for sending these again because you've been awesome. Uh, or no, yeah, Flick Two. Sorry. Um, so this one here, yes, the Emperor's the 8-bit card here. So the winner for this is. Bam Gaming, congratulations. And then the last card from last week was that Silver Muff Tech card. This was the award. This was only 193 on the silver card here. Pretty sweet. So the winner for this card is... Thumb 
Ackerman. Congratulations, and congratulations to all of you. As, a, as is normal, I will have these cards over to you guys within the next few days. Just keep an eye on your trades, and I will send all these over. So let me go ahead and see if we can open up some packs here. I kind of want to do something, even though this may be a pretty quick video. But I'd like to do something and go after some of these mystery cards, which I'll kind of get into a little bit. Okay, so what these mystery cards are, which is kind of weird, which I've kind of seen them in the past, but I never really knew how to get them, and they don't really advertise them. They've done this in the past. Uh, so what happens is when you go into just the all card set and you just, you know, organize it by, um, does it do it by parallel or card count? I think it does it by, so regular. So if you just do it by normal uh, sorting, uh, parallel A to Z, I wish you could switch it Z to A. That really kind of bothers me that they've taken some stuff out with the updates um, and then cards I need or whatever. So um, they have this here. Actually, let's see. Let's say if I take off that, will it show all of them? No, okay, because they're at the bottom. Okay, so I'll show you here. So this here, which doesn't show as it being sold out, but if you try to go into it, so what happens is it has these these question marks. So there's no no real way to know when they release these unless you're on the app constantly looking these. So what you do is if you go to this one here and you hit the little store, it usually will take you to a pack that you can't get to in the actual cantina. And I think they're I think they're ten thousand a pack, five cards at a one two. 15 chance I think as I think how they usually have it so right now there's nothing available even though it doesn't say sold out um, and usually they're pretty low card count I'll show you some of the other ones here so in order to find them in your inventory so or if you want to go um, the only way to do it is if you do it by I think if you do it by card count you can do it where it has the yeah so if you do it by card count you can do it where it's uh, it has the little thing on the side you can scroll so if you go scroll all the way to the bottom with the the question marks Which you can't search it either if you try to search question mark nothing happens uh, Well, I didn't type it. But anyway, so here's all of these question marks that they have released um, They're pretty much just different variants of cards that are pretty much already out So they're pretty cool and they're all pretty rare. Um, usually like I said, they well, that one only had 41 uh, but most of them usually only have um, So many uh, sorry, I can't use my keyboard uh, so that, this one has like 101, this one has 104, 115, 129. So they're all in the range of about 100 to 400 card count usually. Um, and I didn't really know about them. I didn't really pay attention to them very much because, like I said, they don't advertise. So there's all these different ones with different variants and stuff here. Um, I've gotten a couple here. Let me bring up mine here and I'll show you kind of kind of what I got if you're interested. Um, I've got a couple which uh, if you uh, keep your eye out I may have some on some upcoming giveaways as well uh, we've got a bunch of cards to get through um, but if you do it by card count I can search by this and we go all the way down to the question mark and I've gotten three so far um, I was lucky enough to get Finn this has a 350 card count I was uh, with the uh, the ad at Walker was the most recent and then I got a couple of the chewy ones here which I can't scroll there we go a couple of the chewy ones so uh, it's kind of hit and miss you got to really keep your eye on it and get on top of those if you want to try to get them so I thought maybe I could go after one today but it looks like that Death Star one is sold out but uh, let me go ahead and bring up and see if there is something we can go after here for uh, for a moment Okay, so I do remember. Uh, I've been going after the helmet set, uh, which it's not in that area. Here we go, the Galactic Helmet, which the other day I stupidly hit. After I'd already gotten the uh, the Stormtrooper Helmet from yesterday, I accidentally hit the 7500. Because um, right now, this is actually, if you're trying to go after base cards, this is actually a really good time to do it. Because if you look at the base card, for 7500, you can get five cards. And it gives you odds on red, blue, and white. So let's say if you go over to the regular one here, for instance, on a 10,000, so for 2,500 more, you get the same amount of cards and 3, 17, and 80 compared to 5, 20, and 75. So this is actually better for, or not that one, not 7,500, but this one, the 75,000. 7,500 is more bang for your buck, really. Uh, if you're looking to go after base cards right now this is a better way to do it so i was thinking i would go ahead and open up some just for the heck of it just to try to get some more reds in my collection and i accidentally hit this and it was stupid but anyway so i think i'm gonna go i think i'm gonna go ahead and do because this one's a one out of four odds i think i'm gonna go ahead and, and do this here we'll open up a couple packs because we haven't really done this in a while i've been going after the helmet set let's see if we can get anything here maybe we'll get lucky and get the helmet if not i can try to trade for it but let's go ahead and just open up some here i think i still have some blue that i don't have in the set as well so we'll do this here real quick if anything pops up 
we'll take a look at it here. Ah, nice. Red Padme. That's pretty sweet. I think I, I think I do have most of the white cards. I'm pretty sure. I gotta check the my checklist on those. Um, but I'm pretty sure I've collected all the whites and all of the blues. So just going after the uh, oh nice red saw. That is awesome. Back to back. Uh, oh man, this thing does not work very well. I used to be able to use the uh, the arrow keys on the keyboard to scroll right and left, but since an update happened with this app that I use, it uh, doesn't allow me to do it right now. So I just have to manually scroll to the right and left and it just gets annoying. But anyways, we'll keep cruising along here, see if anything pops up. It's a one out of 40 odds, which that was weird. It's a one out of 40 odds, so it's a little higher than I usually go for. Um, but I figured I'd go ahead and try just because I've been able to, uh, to to save up some credits because I haven't been going after anything lately. Um, I mean, if it gets down to it, I may just say heck with it and go for the 75,000. But ooh, nice new red one there. I may go for just the 75,000 if I get too low. Another red. Wow, double red. I already have it, but sweet. Double red. But you never know what happens. And there's only one variant on these helmet cards, which is nice. So you don't have to worry about getting a variant you don't want or, you know, you're not going after. So if one pops up, we'll take a look. Oh, there's a blue I don't have. Medical frigate. Nice. I think I'll take it down to about 250. Uh, that means I would have spent 150,000, which would have been two. Uh, yeah, two of the 75,000 packs, so we'll see if I get lucky. So we'll take it down a couple more packs here. If the, uh, I think it's the Anakin helmet, the Anakin pod racing helmet, which is uh, today's card. So just a couple more packs here. And we'll see what happens. It's been doing that lately. Oh, nice. Oh, I already have it, but sweet. Red K2. I've been doing that lately, that after you open up a few packs, then the pack image won't load for some reason. I don't know if that happens to you guys, but it does to me here recently. And even on the side here, they don't load up. So I don't know. I don't get it. All right, we're getting close here. Two more packs. Let's see if we can get this. See if we can get lucky in the last two packs here. Mm, come on. And no. okay, so we got five cards left. Takes me down to 250. We went through about 150 or so, right around that. I don't remember what I started with. Nice. If anything, then it's been pretty good that I've been able to get a bunch of red. So red quiggled. Another new blue. Awesome. Come on. Got two left. Oh. Nice. And it's got the sweet sound effect. I like that. Awesome. That was a pack. Two cards. A red, a blue. Oh, I didn't mean to move it up. Anyway, so we got the got the Anakin helmet. That is awesome. So yeah, let me go ahead. I've got some more cards to give away. We still have a bunch to go through here, so we're not really running out anytime soon. But let me go ahead and bring up some cards for this week's giveaway then. Okay, so I've got the cards up for this week's giveaway. But first, uh, one thing I do want to ask is if anybody out there has the, uh, the Chewy um, gingerbread card, which I didn't realize I didn't have for some reason... I thought I had collected all of them, and I guess the uh, the awards are coming up here within the next few days, I think. So if anybody out there has the uh, the Chewy Gingerbread card uh, and they're willing to send over a trade, please do, and uh, we'll work something out. But if not, oh well. But anyways, uh, I got the cards up for this week's giveaway, so if you're new to the channel, what we do here is I'm going to show a bunch of different cards. We have another, uh, is it, yeah, it's another whole nine today. Uh, and I do want to give a shout out to TK143 for sending all of these nine cards over. Send them over, said here, go ahead and give these away. So a big thank you. Uh, so what we'll do is I'm going to show a bunch of these cards and I'm going to give a keyword for each specific card. And all you have to do is in the comments below, leave a comment with that specific keyword and then come back next week and you'll see the same thing that we did at the beginning. I'll bring up the winners and all that. And we'll just keep going through these till we run out of cards and until I get too bored with the app and decide to stop playing but i don't think that'll happen but so we'll go ahead and bring these up here the first one up is a purple variant here uh this is the open edition i believe and it's been running a little slow so i'm sorry if it doesn't load uh this is yeah this is the open edition of the uh, commemoration series this is the purple r2 here so the keyword for this one uh, will just be r2 pretty simple next one up actually the next couple uh, well i've got a couple in the set here but uh this next one here is part of the empire illustrated this is the orange variant a tender-ish moment 45 203 the card count there so uh the keyword for this will just be a uh, moment keyword for this 
Next up, we have a purple variant. This is the base four variant. This one only has 431. Is it sold? It doesn't say sold out, but uh, this one here is the uh, 3PO. Uh, so the card or the um, keyword uh, for this one will just be 3PO. And then we've got the 1977 set here. Uh, this is an open edition. Peter Cushing as Grand Moff Tarkin. So the keyword for this one will just be Tarkin. And then we're going to move back into the Empire Illustrated set. We've got another four. Uh, it's another orange variant here. This is 45129 on the card count. This is inside the shelter. So the keyword for this will just be easy enough as shelter. Again, part of the Empire Illustrated, if I can move it over here. This is breaking the news. 45, 655 on the card count. So the keyword for this will just be news. And next up, you've got uh, the thing. This is what? Shutting up the professor. Yes. Or shutting the professor up is the actual thing. Actual name. Uh, 45, 724 is the card count. So this one will just be professor. And then next up, same set, same variant. This is the Wampa Cave. Luke hanging there. 40, uh, 46, uh, 076 on the card count. So the keyword for this will just be cave. And last, we've got the fragmented set. Uh, this is the open edition one, I guess. I don't think any of them have card counts except for the actual Vader, which you can meld the three different fragmented cards. You can meld them. I think you need like 15 Stormtrooper, eight three POs and like three or four of the R2 ones. You can meld them and you get a, a Darth Vader reward card. But anyways, this one here will be the uh, three PO fragmented. And we already have three PO as a keyword. So this one will just be fragmented then. So I'll go through those again for you here real quick, if I can remember. <laughs> but uh, so this one here, uh, this was just going to be R2. And then you have moment and you have three PO and you had Tarkin and K or uh, shelter news. Whoa, that was weird. Uh, professor and then cave oh, man. This is just not working for me. I think it's about to shut down. Maybe. Oh, and then cave and then fragmented. So hopefully that all worked. Sorry, it's being a little glitchy. It may be an issue with my Wi-Fi because that's how it connects to the uh, the app here. But anyways, I'll go ahead and wrap things up here. Uh, we were able to get the uh, the helmet card, which was awesome. I'm glad we were able to open up something here and actually get back to what I like doing on the app is trading and opening up packs. So that was pretty sweet. But I'll wrap it up for tonight. So thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are new to the channel, go and subscribe. That would be awesome. Uh, and if you don't know, we do stream over on Twitch just about every single night except for except for Sundays. Uh, we play a bunch of different stuff. We've just recently started a playthrough of Red Dead. Uh, and just this week, we started a playthrough of Fable Anniversary. And we also started... What did we start on Thursday? Oh, uh, Okami on, uh, on Saturday, actually. So we play a bunch of different things. So if you want to go over there and check that out. And of course, here on YouTube, I post all of the streams that we've done in the past as well. But anyways, I'll wrap it up. Thank you guys again so much. Thank you for everybody that sends over cards for these giveaways. I really do appreciate it. And um, for everybody that trades cards and everything, I really do. Uh, so yes, I'll wrap it up here. Thank you so much. I will talk to you guys soon. And as always, keep on gaming.